Well, Oi, Sissy. Hello again. Hello. Um, sorry to take your time. That's alright. Just was wondering if you'd relive some traumatic memories with me. Could you tell me again what happened to your family with the werewolves and everything? Oh, well, see, I don't really like to talk about it that yeah, much. Yeah, which I understand, yeah. But I would be, yeah, I, I'd be willing to talk about it a little bit. Um, sadly, when I was 17 years old, I was still quite young, uh, the, I lived in Texas, and uh, the, there was a plague of werewolves that came through my small town. Yeah. And they they killed all of my family. So I lost my mom, my pa, my two little brothers. Yeah. And it, it's it's been rather hard since I, I've committed the rest of my life to uh, hunting werewolves uh, to help try and make sure that doesn't happen to anybody else. Yeah. No, and that's good. Is, it's not something you, you get over ever really yeah no i mean for sure so if uh sorry i got distracted <laughs> anyway with uh did you come home and find them or is it more like you were there and saw it happen and were able to get out i was there and uh you know i hid under the bed yeah but uh and I thought it smelled me. You know what I mean. I, yeah. I could have, I, I could have sworn because it was coming around and sniffing, un, like around the corners and stuff. And then it, it must have heard something or yeah. something because it ran off. But I thought I was a goner too. I thought, you know, I still question to this day why I'm still here and they're not. You yeah. Because really, my little brothers, they, they were little angels. They should. What was, what was your little brother's names? Oh, Josh and Abel. Josh and Abel. They, how old were they? He was 17, so younger than that. That's right. Josh, he was 12. Yeah. And Abel, he was 7. That's hard. I can't even imagine. That's rough. It was really hard. I mean, it still is at times. Yeah. Yeah, it's not something you ever really get over. So they worked their way through the whole town then? Or was it... Were you guys targeted in some way? Or? Well, our, our town is in the very rural part of Texas. Yeah. So uh, we're kind of secluded off. So it got a couple of our neighbors too. But yeah. it didn't really get back in the city center. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Well, they probably want to stay away from that if they're mm -hmm. trying to stay alive. All right. Well, anyway, sorry to hear about that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I hear there's some werewolves, you know, in the quarantine part of town. But I guess you can't get in there to fight them, huh? Well, how's that work? Well, we do a patrol. We've been going on patrol every so often just to investigate and keep an eye on and make sure all the barricades are holding up. Yeah. As yeah. far as hunting anything, we haven't. The mayor's mandated we're not supposed to be hunting inside city limits. So. Yeah. I've been letting them be and just making sure that barricade's holding up. All right. Well, thanks for everything you do. And, uh, You're welcome. Glad I could be Yeah. Have a good night.